Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, my name is Cambria, and today we are just tackling a full day of different projects. Um, starting off in the kids' room, I'm just stripping all their beds. I don't do all the bedding in one day, I normally try and split it up between two days. So one day I will handle the kids' rooms, and then a different day I will handle Bobby's and mine. Um, and just like I said, going through, trying to get all this done, I try and get as much of the things I can get done before the boys get home from school because often when they get home that's when we want to like go swimming and do different things so a lot of the time most of my cleaning is done between the hours of 8 a.m and 2 in the afternoon obviously there's still some basic cleaning done at night and um after dinner and stuff like that but when it comes to a lot of my major projects, I try to, like I said, get as much done as possible when the kids are at school. I have been doing the worst job at remembering to load and run my dishwasher at night. I don't know what it is. I'm usually really good at like keeping up with it. That way in the morning, like I unload it. It's fresh for the day, ready to go. And I've just been struggling to remember to do this stuff. I've been so tired at night that I just like that. It just slips my mind. Um, so I'm just doing that this morning and giving the sink a quick wipe down from all the dishes that left different stuff all over the place. That rack, though, that I got for in my sink has been so nice. It definitely makes a huge difference. Um, it is a little bit of a thing because you then have to take it out to really scrub your sink. But I think the benefits of it protecting the bottom of your sink it makes it well worth it. And if you couldn't tell, we were doing chicken for dinner. So I had pulled that out and just set that in the sink to thaw for the day. Um, now, I am using my multi-surface cleaner. I have not replaced my thieves Um I have been enjoying just using Pine Sol in this spray bottle so much that I have not replaced my Thieves. I definitely will, but I do like like rotating different cleaners. So once I get bored of something, I can start on something new. Um, so lately, this has just been a little bit of Pine Sol with some hot water that I've been using as a multi-purpose cleaner. I get questions often about my mop vacuum, which one I have, um, do I like it, everything like that. So I have tried two different ones. I have tried the Roborock Dyad, and then this is the Dreamy version of the Wet Vac. And honestly, I enjoy both of them. There are some new versions out that I really like the options. Um, I know the new Roborock has a cleaning solution section um, a couple other ones are adding that also where this is just the original you just add water um, I usually add a little bit of vinegar or something to the water 
but some of the newer options are really, really nice. I have really no complaints about any of the ones that I have tried. I usually use this one the most just because I felt like when it came to the dog hair, it did a really, really good job with picking it up. And that's why I like these mat vacuum mops the most is if you have dogs and definitely or any animal that sheds a lot, you know, it doesn't matter if you vacuum and then mop, there's still like always hair everywhere. So I like that this does both at the same time. Now, I talk about this all the time where I don't, I used to be like specific spring cleaning situation and I have learned that that is so much more stressful that I just try and keep a rotation of doing different deep cleaning projects throughout the year. That way it's never like, all right, it is spring. I have to deep clean every little inch of my house. Uh, so on this week, I was going through and dusting in the dining room, getting the areas that I don't normally get. I'm not normally climbing up here and dusting the little knickknacks and top shelves and things like that. So I made this a priority for this day that I was going to get up here and dust all this. If you get overwhelmed by cleaning like I do sometimes, I highly recommend getting the idea of spring cleaning out of your head. Um, same with the idea of like doing a huge declutter. If you break it down into smaller, more manageable products uh, or projects, I promise it makes life so much easier. I know there are some people out here that can just like bust it out top to bottom, everything. Um, but I have found over the years, especially like when you have kids and like, I can't just clean nonstop every single day. These videos look like I'm doing it all at once, but really this is like on and off, off throughout the day, taking care of Freya, taking the kids to and from school, making sure meals are set up, um, and just taking some time for myself because sometimes I want to sit on the couch and watch YouTube or scroll TikTok or whatever, and this way of thinking when it comes to cleaning to separate and not worry about a big crazy clean is so much easier. So I highly recommend if you are like me and get overwhelmed sometimes with how much spring cleaning you have to do, just get rid of that concept of having to clean a room top to bottom um, or a whole house top to bottom and start separating these big cleaning projects into one project at a time and tackle that for that day or even that week. And if you just get into a routine of tackling these projects, you never need to worry about having this crazy companies coming over. I have to clean absolutely everything mindset. Also, finding a really, really good multi-purpose cleaner that you enjoy and a couple key products for cleaning will help also. Now, don't get me wrong. I love my gadgets. I do. Like, it's one thing that makes cleaning enjoyable to me. But when I'm just looking to really get my house clean, simplifying it is best. Having one really good multi-purpose cleaner, um... This wet vac works great. Obviously, there's still days that I have to go in and actually like pull out my old cedar mop and really mop. But having a key amount of items that won't overwhelm you, like I have my rag and my spray bottle and I can pretty much go around and do everything and just replace the rag every once in a while, really does make a world of difference.
Making my bed is one of my favorite things. I love having our room clean and organized and minimal. Um, and I feel like as long as you make your bed, like your room looks put together. But this is the one place in the house that I know if I clean it, it'll stay clean all day. And if I need somewhere to go and just relax, I can. These nightstands were one of my best purchases. I am so happy with these. It's so nice just to, I don't know, the extra space on top to have my glass of water at night, my charger, our Google Home, our lamps, everything, plus just the storage. There's pretty much nothing in the bottom drawer. It's just the top two drawers, and I love that. I love that I can have everything neat and organized in there. Those, I am so excited I was able to find them and at a good deal they are still on Wayfair um, last I saw so if you guys are interested check out Wayfair they got some pretty good deals on those nightstands um, but just into our bathroom bathroom didn't need anything too crazy just a real quick cleaning wipe down and putting a um, couple things away I try and keep up with my bathroom on a regular basis like you guys don't see me really go in the shower and scrub on a regular basis and that is because I keep my shower scrubber in my shower because when I am letting the conditioner sit in my hair or anything like that I will give my shower a quick scrub down that is something that is another thing I will highly recommend is keeping your shower cleaning products in your shower and clean it when you're in there already makes it super easy when you're just standing there for the five minutes to let your conditioner soak you can then scrub the floor or one wall you don't even have to scrub the entire shower just a section of it we are all taking showers on a regular basis anyway so might as well make it dual purpose and then on the days that you're going in your bathroom and just giving a quick scrub down it's super quick because literally all I have to do is wipe down the toilet wipe down the counters and the bathroom looks good Another tool I absolutely love having in my house is a robot vacuum. This one is a vacuum and mop. I have this running every day and it makes a world of difference. But we're moving outside. I had actually bought this Windex window cleaner last year when we first moved into this house. Um, but we had so much other stuff going on that I had never used it. And then we ended up replacing the windows and... It just wasn't a thing, um, but I wanted to get outside and clean the exterior windows. Most of the windows, I can clean the outside from the inside, except for the big bay window. That doesn't have the same, like, where it tilts in like the rest of the windows. Um, so that was the big reason I want to do this. Plus, my mom had used this, and she had mentioned how clean her screens on the window had gotten after using it. So I'm like, well, that's great because if I can clean the screens while they're still on the windows, like that right there is a time saver. Plus it's cleaning all the windows. It was just a dual purpose and it did work really, really well. I just put it on the hose. It has a rinse section. So you rinse the windows and then you change it over to the cleaner, which I'm doing right now. You'll see that it's a more foamy, 
consistency. You can see it really well on the center one. Um, you let it sit for a couple minutes. So I just moved on. I did all the windows where I rinsed and soaped. And then I went back to the beginning and rinsed all of them again. And it really does leave a streak free clean. Um, I will say there's one window in the front of the house where we had to reset up our sprinkler system because it was hitting the window. I'm gonna have to get in there with some Dawn and my scrub mommy to get the like water residue build up off because our sprinkler system is run off of a well system. So that water can leave more marks, which is why we try and set it up to not hit the house and just water the grass. So this window that I'm spraying right now, this is the window that we, <laughs> it sounds so bad. It's on the side of the house. So when we bought this house, we didn't walk this side yard. And this is the window that when we pulled down the paneling in the boy's bedroom, we found out they had another window that was hidden behind paneling. So excited to have that window. Um, but I laugh now every time like when I'm cleaning windows and stuff I'm like how did we not realize that there was two windows in the boys bedroom and not just one um, It's funny because when you're looking at houses you can overlook so many things and looking back now It's like I don't I don't know how we overlooked that but we I'm definitely grateful that <laughs> there was a window there because it leaves so much extra light trying to keep up with the bedding this is always the hardest part when i do bedding is making sure they all get washed that way when the kids are home and ready for bed all their beds have been made however when freya's got done she is very good at putting herself to bed when she is tired um, and that is what she had done on this day so when i walked into her room i just put the bedding on her bed for now figuring she can sleep and when she wakes up for her nap is when I will go and remake her bed, but not about to wake up a little girl that had obviously put herself to bed. I absolutely love this entryway. I'm really glad like we did the little bit of extra texture on this wall and everything. It Every time I clean this area, it's one of the areas that I just absolutely love the way it turned out. But turning on my diffuser real quick, I'm just using some lemon essential oil. I love using lemon or lemongrass, um, peppermint, things like that, especially in the summer. I like the more spicy stuff when we hit fall and winter, but in the summer, I love just fresh lemon, citrusy type different smells. Oh, also talking about my diffuser. You guys ask on a regular basis, where did I get my diffuser? So I got my diffuser from Young Living. Um, however, my girlfriend, Jessie, uh, for Jessie at Home, she was one of my favorite people here on YouTube. We've known each other since pretty much both of us started our channel. 
she found a dupe on Amazon that she loves and looks just like the Young Living diffuser. And it's far less expensive. So if you guys like mine, look up oil diffusers on Amazon because she found it cheap and she's had hers now. I think it's going on two years now and it's running great. So definitely recommend that because like I said, this one is a bit more expensive. I know when I got it, I couldn't find a dupe for it. Um, and I loved the way it looked, but a hundred percent, if I'm going to get another one, which I've been considering to get one for our bedroom, we don't currently have one in there, um, that I'm just going to go on Amazon and buy it from there because the ones from Young Living are pricey. Um, wiping down the couches real quick. Couches are always needing to get wiped down between sticky fingers and whatnot. Um, and I have these leather wipes that this is what I use on the daily to keep the leather clean is I'll just use the leather wipes. If I'm doing a deeper clean, then I'll use a spray on it. Um, but for quick cleanups like this, these wipes work great. I was also taking advantage of Freya being in bed and cleaning up all of her toys. I usually try and do this in the afternoon when she is distracted because I know she's just going to bring it all out again, but if she's sleeping or playing in her room or anything like that, to me that is like prime time to go in and clean all that up. And now just quickly vacuuming the rug, even though I have the robot vacuum run on a regular basis. It just is never doing as thorough of a vacuuming on this rug as actually using a vacuum. Um, and once again, dogs that shed on the regular. So I will go in regularly with an actual vacuum to vacuum this rug to really make sure that it's getting clean. So by this time of the day, the boys had gotten home, thankfully. So Xander was able to help me get, um, when I make his bed, when he sleeps on the top, I just pull the whole mattress down. It makes it easier. Uh, but he helps me get it back up there. It's not too heavy. It's just really awkward. Um, but this is so much easier than trying to climb up on a bunk bed and make it from the top. I've done that before and it's just a pain. And then Freya was up at this time too. She normally wakes up once the boys get home because she's always really excited that they're home from school. So I decided to quickly make up her room as well as quickly do a little tidy in her room also. These little stuffed animal hammocks, I do recommend. I feel like I have stuffed animals all over. All my kids enjoy them. Um, but I feel like this is such a cute way for the kids to display their stuff. Uh, but then I had the boys cleaning their room while I was working on Freya's room. 
Um, so once their room was clean and Freya's room was clean, I set up the robot vacuum to go in both rooms and give it a really good once over. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. Also, leave a comment down below and share this video with a friend. If you're new here, I would love if you would subscribe. I post twice weekly. At least that is always my goal is to post every Tuesday and every Friday. Obviously, sometimes things come up, but those are always my goal. And then sometimes I throw out bonus shorts, but those are always just for fun. So I don't have a schedule on my shorts. There's just days that I like to, I'm either doing something that I want to share or anything like that. So definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post and what I am posting. Next week, we have a bunch more big projects coming out. There's so much decluttering I have to do. Since moving in this house, we haven't decluttered anything for the most part. And it is time to go through all of my stuff and just figure out what I have not been using. So that is one of my big goals for next week. But I will see you guys next time. Bye!